What's going on guys? Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the truck. It's been a while since I made a video. <clears throat> um, just wanted to show you the new bumper that I had made and the reason why I had it made. Um, we went out last month to Logandale, which is about an hour north of Vegas, me and my buddies, and went wheeling. <laughs> And I'm sure you guys remember what those, the rear quarters used to look like. I never did trim them. I was actually planning on doing it, but I had it painted and never got around to it. And anyways, I'll insert some pictures of what I did to the, you can kind of still see some of the damage there. Um, what I did, I actually, I actually crushed the driver's side first, which was completely my fault. I was dropping off like a three-foot ledge and just kind of whiskey throttled it and dropped it off and crushed it. And then about an hour and a half later, <laughs> the same thing happened to the other side, but this time it wasn't really my fault. I don't really don't even know what happened to this. I think we rolled over a big boulder and it just kind of came loose in the truck. It got underneath there somehow and basically did the same thing on both sides anyways my buddy josh from arm brewster industries um, designed this bumper which i think it's totally sick um it's totally custom and we he got rid of the part of the fender that was damaged cut it here put these tubes here and then you can see underneath how it's all tied into the frame and it doesn't come off it's completely welded so my old bumper is actually behind this bumper i don't know if you guys remember it's just basically a cross member that ran between the frame rails so it's back there as well and i decided uh to add the tow hitch um and i actually have a slider for that tow hitch on order it should be here soon but um still have some damage i gotta try to repair and my idea for that is to i think i'm gonna get some aluminum plate and basically wrap it maybe come up you know an inch or so or a couple inches and go up and wrap it around the corner and then just probably nut cert it obviously i'll try to definitely gonna paint this stuff first so it don't have any rust issues which really aren't a problem where i live anyways but i want to try to hide that the rest of that damage but I think the bumper came out really cool. Really like it. Um, yeah, he did an amazing job. And the fact that it's custom and it's pretty much no one else on the planet has one like it. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, anyways, after uh, the only other thing I got going on is I, I'm sure you guys have seen the new wheels and tires I bought from my buddy Taryn. Um, was never really a fan of the Patagonias. I like the wheels. So I got some nittos. They'll actually be here tomorrow or the next day. So I'll get those mounted up on there. Um, and then I'll make another update and show you guys what that looks like. Other than that, the only other thing I've done to the truck since the last update is I did add some wheel spacers to the rear, some two inch spacers, because I couldn't stand the way the rear tires were, you know, tucked in. And all Chevys are like that. I guess all leaf spring Chevys are like that but it just bugged me and i really was kind of nervous about doing spacers but a couple of my buddies are like dude we run them it's cool just got to make sure that you keep tightening them a few times and then after that you know maybe once every six months make sure you go through and make sure they're tight and you shouldn't have any issues but other than that haven't done really anything um all a couple of my buddies are still building their truck so we really haven't been wheeling all that much this last year so Hopefully they'll get, hopefully James will get his Samurai done. It's close. And I shall try to make an update for that for you guys because it's sick. And Taryn's Jeep's done. It's been done for about four months and that thing is ridiculous. But um, hope you guys are all doing well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.